Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Kucher. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my spiritual journey, lifestyle, and most specifically, uh, the crime against me and my twin flame, Shia. And this video is for Shia and for everyone else who is listening. I thank you for listening and watching. However, I do want to tell you that it's going to be mostly negative. I'm also going to let you know that there's going to be a lot of artificial intelligence being used uh, and possession that could make me sound different, say words that I don't typically say, uh, say full sentences that I may not even be able to catch and if I do catch something very bad and very serious I will put in the description that it was not me that said it. Um, and there's going to be interference in this video. I and no, I know that for a fact. However, I also have spirit guides and um, Lum the Lumerian team who are helping uh, make sure that the predators and the criminals do not uh, hurt and offend my twin flame Shia because this video is for him. I am making this video to help him and to uh, connect with him and if I say something that um, would hurt your feelings it's uh, not me that would hurt your feelings so I, I have um, I, I was given some good news uh, in regards to my twin flame and the connection he has with um, the uh, artificial one, and uh, that's not not really him. That there's might not be like such a c close connection, which makes me very happy. Um, I'm going to just uh, go talk about the notes because right, right now, because I don't want to, there's already like uh, things, so the Ruckias are working, but because I've been, have had gins, devils in my body since I was a child, uh, it's not going to just be, they're not going to just get, go, get away, get out of me or Shia. Uh, overnight. This is going to take constant burning them and I was getting a little bit uh, distracted with the videos of um, doing the ruckus for specific gins and specific parts of the body but uh, what I wanted to tell you Shai and others uh, if you're listening um, folk uh, I found if you go google rakya that's not my voice. If you Google Rakia, uh, kill all gins, and I can say the word kill because these gins are are not human beings. They're en they're demonic entities attached to the human body in inside the body. Um, so all gins, and then there's just regular. So let me turn this on, and I'll show you. Actually, just just Google Rakia all gyms, and I'm going to act a little like nervous because I've already been threatened that this video is going to get messed up, and I'm going to check the microphone again to make sure it's not turned down. Um, uh, really, this this is very important that um, my twin flame is watching and it's one of the most important things let me see if my see they're using AI to erase my eyebrow because I look in the mirror and my eyebrows typically match so they're they're doing AI on my face to exaggerate uh, what's going on here I, I'm, I'm I'm pretty much positive they're exaggerating some of the, this um, it, because they know I'm doing this video and nobody's really watching. I got nine views last time and I typically will try to um, 
make it like it's been it has a few views. So, so to my t twin flame. So it's really a game over at this point because I have gotten confirmation that my twin flame will approach my door and I was a little bit, no we're not going to just jump into to things yet. Um, I didn't know, I didn't get the impression that he was going to live here because you were going to live here because I thought that it would be unsafe and that you had to, to live with more than, but if I, you contact me, it'd be even more unsafe. But um, now I'm getting an idea that it would be uh, a good idea if you lived here. And I think that would be good. I, I actually like it here. Besides, most of the people in the building are... Um, a lot of the people in the building are bad. However, management is very good. There's a ton of security and there's cameras everywhere. It is, um, there are some specific, like you have to be eligible to live here because uh, if you're low income. And there's a 30 day ap like application process that we would have to go through. However, um, also, if that occurs, we could just go camping or something for those 30 days. Uh, I don't think that the Lumerians are allowing you to contact me because I'm doing all of the, the Lumerian uh, technology channeling five hours a day. It was six to eight hours for like four months and then I decreased it to five hours because it was just taking over my life and I was getting like too burnt out from it. So I, I don't think you're, I think one of the main reasons why you're not even contacting me is because of this Lumerian technology channeling that I'm doing, and you're doing probably, because once we, we get together, we're not going to be doing that, but I think we probably will be traveling to Vortexes. Um, I don't even know if that face is mine. They might be making fun of me when I drink my coffee. And I don't usually gurgle when I drink coffee either. Gurgle it in my mouth. Well, I've been attacked all day. That's not my, my facial expression. I've been attacked all day. These demons are getting, um, you know, I had full, full body possession when I was, uh, for, for a couple of years where like I didn't even feel my own body parts moving it was there were, it was literally taken over I don't even know I think I was actually dead I was told by even spirit guides that I was actually no longer living I was like a walking zombie so um And I don't want this video to be all about me. I want it to be about my twin flame. So I'm extremely happy that you are suggesting that you're going to contact me at this point. Um, I'm, I am so like mind controlled. You probably have already suggested it to me. And when we were telepathically connected more, um, there was also an entity pretending to be you, which was getting really confusing in it. Um, some of this conversation is not for everybody. This is like, uh, but the thing is, my life is already screwed over and ruined. So whatever I say, it, it doesn't even matter at this point. But there's a few things that I will refuse to say on the internet if anybody were to watch. So let me get jump into the notes because um, I've, I have here one, two, three, four, five. I have five pages just from two days ago when I got on this video. And these five pages will take me a while. And I apologize if I'm not acting happy. I've been really physically tortured a lot. I have been getting, um, raped a lot 
it's, it's, it's doing it again where if I lay on my side, they start raping me and they say, get in corpse pose. Uh, you're not allowed to lay on your side. It's just, um, pe people, people think that whatever is happening to me, the people doing it is, are not supposed to be breathing, which is true. And I just raised my eyebrow. Actually, it looks a little bit better my eyebrow in this video. So I I was working on the paralysis rakyas and they were doing, a, a, I was feeling a lot of sensations, but I, I'm really just focusing on trying to burn these gins in my body. I wanted to like um, get the, uh, I wanted to go against the witches, the, the magicians that are controlling the gins in my body. But the thing is, if these gins burn and get out of my body and um, leave my body then the magicians and the witches can't control them in my body and then they won't be able to spy on me um, ruin my life completely so <clears throat> um, and they've been freaking out because of the fact that I got a little bit of information with, um, so I can't really say it completely right now. So let's move on. Lumerians aren't going to let you contact Shia until Alyssa deactivates the people. And this isn't just one person being deactivated. This is a whole hive mind matrix. And I'm not saying I'm like saving the universe by doing this. I know there are plenty of other people doing this. However, I am getting the impression that me and my twin flame are doing a lot of something that would make us be in trouble. And you know, so there was I um, so anyways, um, oh yeah, if this video is a little bit later because I've been recording it at 6 pm so that I can get it ready for 8 pm, it's because I cleaned the whole apartment in less than like an hour or two. Um, and it makes me feel so happy when I clean because the energy is just so much better. I can't like be in like a dirty room. It doesn't feel good at all. So, and I think I'm going to go to Ikea and get a few things because I've been wanting to, to go to Ikea. I think I'm going to transplant those cactuses because my cactuses are still in that plant. I'm going to transplant those plants because they're not doing good and I might be getting some new plants. But basically I'm going to get like a, that's not me, plants. Um, I'm going to get more dish, kitchen dishcloth because the other one was ruined. I might get a new kitchen mat, a bath mat. Just a couple of things. And when I go to a kid, like it's so cheap, so I really love it. And get some tea light candles because the tea light candles that I got at Walmart, they're very waxy, like greasy, and they only last like two hours. And the IKEA candles last like four to six hours. So I haven't gone to IKEA in a long time, and I'm not going to spend over a hundred dollars. Probably spend over a hundred dollars. And I apologize if I've been talking a lot about money. Um, I've been humiliated with money for a long, long time. And I've had a lot of, I've been basically, my money has been stolen from me and I've not been able to uh, make money because of the black magic and the witchcraft. So, uh, and I also, oh, also sometimes I'm a little embarrassed of, um, you know, my furniture and everything in this place. But the thing is, sometimes I look around and I'm like, this is such a cute room. I have some really cute decorations and but then other times I'm like 
this is ugly and like this I could be doing like so much better but the thing is I've had to prioritize with what I buy and um, the, what I have is what I've been using so um, it is pretty hot in here um, yeah you know, I, I bought a new t-shirt and I'm going to go put it on because this is too hot and t-shirt and I didn't feel comfortable in it I didn't really feel comfortable in it because they were making fun of the MA however <laughs> by the way my middle name is Lee L-E-E -E. And then they were saying, Ma, Lee, me, boo, ghost, the ghost child is going to haunt me and my twin flame. Anyways, I, I like Malibu. I've traveled there a couple times. I usually do road trips. I've done road trips where I will drive up towards... Actually, I drove towards Sunland, the highway. I don't know if it's called Sunland. Anyways, I drove up towards Los Angeles, past uh, to, to Ojai, Ojai, California, or Ojai, Ojai, O-J-A-I, which is a vortex. And I, um, by the way, Sunland is really pretty, if that's, um, anyways, Ojai, has a, a vortex there, so I'll go up to Los Angeles to Ojai, and then I'll go we'll loop down to the coast, to then to Malibu. Probably stop there, go to Whole Foods because they have a really cute mall market place. And I like Malibu because it, it's very vortexy, and I would get made fun of for saying this because oh, that's a wealthy place, and you're not you're not wealthy. But Val Malibu is a beautiful place, and California is Lumeria, like air. Lumeria. There's a strong connection with California and Lumeria. So if anybody owns California, it's the Lumerians. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of property in these rich towns. You don't have to own property in California to own California. Lumerians. Uh, have a strong, strong connection to California. So, this was only $10 too, and I thought it was, <laughs> I think that wearing to the word Malibu, it might connect me, it might make me think, I do not wear words on my shirts, but Calif wearing like like I saw Palm Springs, I love Palm Springs, Vortex and Palm Springs. I would wear a shirt that says Palm Springs. I would wear a shirt that says Sedona. I would wear shirts that actually say places that I visited that are Vortexes. There are very few things that I would actually wear words with. Um, it's just also because I've been so uh, attacked with words that it hasn't been. So, um, there's no way I would be able to keep doing what I'm doing, channeling nonstop for five hours, if, and I'm not kidding, I use the timer and pause it when I stop. I, I really do for five hours. Um, but if I don't, then they're not going to get 
there's no AI deactivation that's going to happen if I if I don't do it. So why am I not acting happy in this video? The, I I'm like pretty possessed, and I, it's kind of scary to talk about because people. But honestly, whoever is watching this video probably doesn't like me. Um, and besides my twin flame that does like me, so I'm really not worried about it. And if he, there's no there's no souls that are watching this video, and I I'm not trying to hurt anybody and, and say maybe there are okay. Maybe, maybe there are, um, but there's not a lot of people that would be supporting me watching this video. And I'm specifically making these videos for my twin flame. Um, and I'm talking about a lot of stuff. So if you, if, there could also be some people watching get to uh, use this against me, this information against me. However, um, if I do sound mentally ill, mentally ill people can still have murderers trying to kill them. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if you're mentally ill. That's not going to be the excuse. Oh, she's mentally ill. None of this happened. Someone stalking, terrorizing, torturing, hacking into my electronics, posting all these advertisements with coded messages to break and kill my spirit for 20, 15 years, and this person, Shia, this person, DW, he knew and learned about me when I was living in Auburn, when my mother was living with my ex-stepfather and married to him, and they got a divorce because of that person, DW. So I was a, a pretty much almost a teenager when I was living at that place. I was about 20 years old, I think, when DW found out about me. Because I remember that doing this whole party thing with all the fruits and vegetables raw, just a bunch of no chips or no soda, just this. And I was like, what the hell is this? I was completely possessed that DW was doing that. And then the one put thing I put was the artichoke dip that had no sour cream in it. Someone was trying to prove a point there. Someone was trying to prove a point. Uh, I'm killing Lisa. I'm in charge of this. <laughs> and then they got a divorce. My my mother and the ex stepfather. And um, you know they're constant. DW is constantly trying to uh, mimic things that my dead ex stepfather has has said in the past when I lived with him. Like he'd always uh, uh, every little thing that my stepdad did was just. I couldn't stand him. I couldn't. I couldn't stand him, and I ran away from that dude. I was so lucky that I didn't get raped by him. I was so lucky. Um, I was so lucky that I didn't get physically raped by any of my family members or, or any, you know. So I mean, I've gotten probably date raped, and my mom would do date rape drugs on me with AI and then take over my body and do stuff with men when I was younger and drinking and stuff. Not and stuff. <laughs> she, I think my mother was date raping, putting date rape drugs when I was drinking alcohol because then I would get like so like, not me. And, and she would take over my body and actually um, do sexual things with uh, guys when I was um, drunk or blacked out. And, and this is what my mother did to me. So, um, I didn't really want to bring that up. I don't even, but the things, things are just going to come up because <sighs> this is stupid. I didn't really want to talk about that, but I'm going to talk about my mother in this video. And I don't really talk about my father much, but I will mention me and my father don't have a lot in common and we never did. And he made a point to make me know that we didn't have much in common. And he also energy vamped on me a lot. And he was, uh, you know, Superman at work with all of this energy, getting all this stuff done, um, 
making more money than others because he was so speedy, but he was definitely stealing my energy and, and using it to benefit himself. And he, um, I'm not going to talk about much about my dad because I, I'm hoping he's going to support me, but I, I don't really think he might. I don't think he will, actually. I really don't want to give him so much credit, like that, like, oh, he's going to help when he didn't really help me much in my life. And he definitely stayed away a lot. The Coochers, my father and all of his family members cut me off when I was a child. So, and they're not my, really my family. They're not my family. My mother's side, because my mother was such a handler to me, they were that she was really in control of me. They had to place them up more of a part in pretending to be get close and stuff. But they cut me off when I was in my late twenties and mid twenties, mid twenties. I didn't. All, all they really did was like make fun of me for not being able to hold down a job and make money and so um so yeah it's it's me and Chaya it's me and you and we're not and based on how my mother is acting with supporting the uh, clone's wife really humiliating me um She's probably not going to see her grandchildren. She will not see her grandchildren. She will not meet her grandchildren. She can go meet the clone's wife's. She can go meet her grandchild, uh, the clone's wife's child. Because she declared that she's already a grandmother because of that child to me. This was said to me last fall when I went to visit her. So... I have an extreme problem with my mother and she played mom a lot to try to reel me in and to try to keep hurting me. And yeah, they are playing around my lip. My lip is not, not always as bad and they're numbing it like I can feel the way they numb it. They're playing with my face just to make me, just, just to feel like that they're They've killed me. They've, it's all done, Alyssa. You're still going to die. You're still never going to meet Shia. It's all part of the plan. All these tough masons. And, and that person is not a woman. I just found out yesterday. So they played around my head, m making me think that it's a woman. And the person that was kept going to his her door is the guy. I thought that that guy that was kept going to that, that door was the drug dealer, and it was him. And he's been playing around, acting like he's a woman in there. And he's just, she's just, he's just the visitor. So he could fucking beat the shit out of me. <laughs> and get away with it. Because you know what? He can't bang the shit out of that wall anymore. Because I have a Lumerian weapon. The Violet Flame. But is that really powerful, hiding behind an, an old woman, an imaginary old woman? You can't be powerful doing that. So I have been, I have been living in dangerous levels of poverty my entire life. And I've been barely holding on when I've lived with my mother. I've been really too sick to work. Um, and also, uh, my, uh, I've been very mind controlled to think that I'm incapable of most careers and jobs. And also, when I had a job, it was never over six months. And I think I've had a couple, I've had a few dozen jobs, mostly part time uh, in my lifetime. And, you know, once I get there, then they start messing around with the people I work with and I eventually just have to leave because I because they it's not that they're kicking me out I just it's not 
and I get attacked. So, um, also, I never really, I don't want me or Shari to work ever again. I don't, I don't want, I don't want, I'm not, I'm not, uh, Shai is not going to go do a nine to five job and I'm not either. I'm all done. Um, I'm not saying I'm like permanently handicapped or anything, but if I have to make money, it's not going to be with working with people because, you know, it's beyond I can't trust people. Every, everybody's on this planet mostly are soulless. So what, your soul's gonna go go to go work with people and get hurt? <laughs> so, um, so I've had dangerous levels of poverty. I've lived in dangerous levels of poverty. I'm not happy with it. Uh, I am not, I'm not comfortable with it. Um, and Alyssa imagined, oh, and I, of course I'm going to imagine my twin flame having a little more money than me, no matter what. I don't, I've never thought he was a millionaire. I never imagined him being a millionaire. Um, however, obviously I don't believe he uh, is, you know, poverty stricken. Um, and I can't think that because it makes me sick. Okay, I'm already have barely. I'm already barely surviving. So imagining my twin flame barely surviving, I just I can't. I, I can't take that. So, um, but he could come, You could come here, Shia, and live with me, and we. You could live off of what I have, what I make every month, and. You wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have to make any money, because I have enough money to be able to survive. Uh, so, um, but it, there's thirty. I, I believe actually you would be eligible to live here. Um, obviously, I don't think you can be employed. Someone stole your identity. So, like. Uh, but no, um, um, my my mother and my father uh, made it made me so I I would and a DW for sure stole my money stole any little ability that I had of being able to have a career and make money and that one time when I was working as an assistant manager making double the amount that a boutique manager would run because they didn't they wanted to call it like a corporate position but it was like basically a little boutique uh i it would be and the i was just sitting there bored out of my mind almost wanting to kill myself so it was a little bit like no you're not you're not working a job and get in earning that money they, to, like they, they don't deserve the money, so, and that's one time I had a high-paying job. And at any other time, I was controlled to work retail and not even be able to make a living wage. So I, but I've had humiliation, like extreme, extreme, extreme humiliation, in regards to um, the living conditions, where I've lived, how I've had to live. Extreme, extreme, extreme humiliation, um, and it also it killed my spirit a little bit. It definitely killed my spirit. I wonder if no. So focusing on the gins, killing the gins in the body, and I don't. When I play the videos, I'm trying to focus on the gins, all the gins, not just gins in certain areas, because there's a lot of rakyas that specifically focus on gins in certain areas. And you know what, Shari, you're probably doing what you have to do. You might not be having to do everything I do, but I'm trying to tell you. In the last video, I kept on saying, "Oh, get get the leaders, get the the witches and." 
But the thing is, these gins are like gonna get stronger and stronger, but I need to weaken them and weaken them and weaken them and burn them to, so that they, they leave my body. And that should be the, the important thing. So they, they've been kind of playing around with me and, and stuff. No, they playing around with me. No, they haven't been controlling me to not do gin videos. No. Even though that's what they would like me to think. So, the, sometimes this, uh, I don't like living here because um, I'm tortured 24 seven. So it's not going to feel, but, but the thing is, if people go to jail for what they're doing to me and my twin flame, this little this little place is not going to feel bad. This 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 little this studio apartment um, feels very bad because these people who are doing crime to me are making money off of my asshole, raping my fucking asshole, my private parts. Stealing all of my adrenochrome, stealing all of my energy, vamping on me. The, stealing my soul and my spirit, doing all this Freemasonry shit so they can level up and get more money, more fame, more success, success more lifestyle, more, family, everything. And the thing is, um, so these people have to go to jail and then I'll feel free. But right now I feel like I'm imprisoned. So that's what a telepathic supporter has said. And some of these things are tel uh, tel telepathic supporters have told me. So if Shari comes to live with Alyssa, it is a safe place because there's security here and there's cameras. Um, and honestly, I'm too tired to clean. I don't think we're ever going to own a big home because I'm too tired to clean. It's not fun to have to clean a big home. Uh, I, I've, I almost feel like I'm going to pass out just cleaning this little place. So, yeah, small place is not a bad thing. And plus, we're going to want to be together 24-7, so being in having one room is not going to be a bad thing. <clears throat> um, it's a safe... It takes 30 days to get authorized to have... You know, I, I didn't think you... The whole, reason, the whole reason why I didn't think that you would ever move here is because... For one, I thought you were in more danger than me and the whole reason why I'm waiting for you is because I can't be with you because you're... I would die or get killed if I was with you, and I don't. I don't know. I don't know everything. I thought that I was gonna move in with you with your dad or something. That's what I thought. But the thing is, I would never want you to live with my parents. And I, and I thought, anyways, um, like no, I. I it, I, it might not be the correct dynamic. So, I, and I also was kind of embarrassed in this place. I, I didn't think that you would, I didn't think that you would be, I thought that maybe you thought, that you were, I thought that you were better than me, better than me. And I have men, mental illness about it. That uh, because of the clone that you're, you're just a little better than me, but we're equals. I know that, but because of that whole mind control and the thing, I had ideas that this wouldn't, this place would be too small for you, or you'd be a little bit too uncomfortable. It could be awkward. But I know those aren't correct thoughts. I know that my twin flames told me. I mean, my tell bus told me, no, Shai, Shai is just like you, Alyssa. He's just like you. But you haven't had the level of poverty I have. Obviously, hiding is definitely, that's, that's, 
that's poverty though, if you've had to hide. And then the fact that you've gotten your identity stolen, not just your DNA, you got your identity stolen. It's not legal. It doesn't matter what contract it occurred, it's not fucking legal. So I know I know you're in more danger than me because of that. And I have been um I but I haven't been worried because I know that you have you do have some protection with your family. But I see you in the photo in the video. You're not wealthy person. You don't look wealthy. You don't act wealthy. You don't act like a snob. Because it would be it would be awkward if we came together and you were very wealthy and I'm very poor. It would be it would be awkward and so people are listening right now and telling me things to tell you I'm not telling you. If Alyssa can live here, then you can. So that's what I have to think. But I was just, I was just, I made um, I made a hot dog and I had coleslaw on the side. And I keep saying lately, because I'm worried that I'm going to not always be a good cook. And I'm just like thinking, this coleslaw is not Shia approved. <laughs> and telepathic supporter started laughing at me and saying, no, this is not Alyssa approved. Alyssa would eat it, but it's crappy tasting. But a child wouldn't eat it. I have I have some mental illness with some sickness about that because I've been so I've been so abused and tortured. That's fake. That's fake crap tears. Um, but that's wrong of me to do that. <laughs> this this child would I wouldn't serve that to you but I would serve it to myself well obviously I'm not going to waste the coleslaw and I didn't really try to make a recipe I just put I put some mayo, vinegar pepper and sea salt it just wasn't enough for a dressing for the coleslaw it just and I, I don't always have the energy and the time to, cook, to do that but if you want to see my fridge, it's been it's looking pretty good. I'll show you some things. Cause I want to share some food with you. I have to clean it soon, but I have all my bottles of water because I like to drink I don't drink sink water. And this is pretty pricey, but it's worth it. It's ten dollars for thirty-five bottles. I have um, some rice pudding, some yogurt, salad, I got some blue cheese, I have wraps, I have some soy milk here, I got a baked potato biscuit, see the spells are breaking so I get to eat different things. I actually finally bought some eggs. I have some cilantro here and avocado for some guacamole, I might make like a fajita. Oh, and I did make some ground beef. I made tacos, and the beef didn't taste bad. The This extra white sharp cheddar is really good. So I, I this could be a little more organized, but I'm not gonna organize it. Um, and then this is some things in my cupboard. What do we have? I have been doing this because uh, vitamins. This is the one thing that I have hydroxyzine that when I have like six hour panic checks I'll take that. Uh, fruit cocktail, nutrition drink, cream, fruit cream, oatmeal. I have Keurig coffee. I have here couscous. I got some stuffing because I want to make chicken wings with stuffing, like baked potatoes or something. I've been really trying to work with. Oh, and I got these dates. I want to start eating the dates. I really want to start focusing on 
eating meals because I was uh, not allowed to eat like balanced meals. A veggie, a protein, uh, a protein, carbohydrate, and a vegetable. Oh, I'm just not feeling pretty today. And I think it's because I'm very, very tired. I went shopping yesterday. And I think the five hour Lumiere and channeling on the top of all of the gin, um, all the rakias I'm listening to, I'm getting very fatigued because when the when I'm trying to burn all of these gins and all this black magic on me, it's making me very tired. I'm sure you can be very tired too. Okay. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom soon. And that's not all my food. I have a bottom covered. I have a cupboard in the bottom with some more food. I love coffee though. It's, it really helps me with my energy. I've been drinking two cups a day. So, But I, if you if you come and live with me here, I wouldn't let you walk around here alone. I don't think you would let me walk around here alone. Um, I wouldn't want. I, I I just don't feel. I don't feel safe um, with the idea of just because I've had to wait for so long because you're in so much danger because you can't be with me because you're. Someone's gonna kill you if you do try. Like that alone just makes me extremely um, worried and feeling unsafe for you. So Lumerians aren't going to. Oh, I already forgot about that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So if you saw, I I Google the clone because I want information. Okay, not because I'm like spying or do anything. I want some information because if your DNA is inside that clone, nobody is watching the video. I can say it. If your DNA is in that clone, I can I, I I have a right to watch it to see what's what's going on. But I saw a gothic lettering of the the letter D. My mother's name is Diana, and a, a yellow shirt. Yell ow ouch. And I think that was a sign that the clone's wife knows what my mother did about supporting her and what she did and so extremely excited and happy over it. Okay? Um, I really hope to God you hate my mother just for that reason alone, just for what she did to me in regards to her continuing to support her. Um, it's, that's perverted for one. She's my fucking mother. It's perverted. It's fucking weird. It's beyond disgusting. And telepathic supporters said, if my mother ever fucking did that to me, put her in fucking jail. If my mother, my, and I, I truly believe that's the lowest thing you can do to your daughter is support the person that stole your husband's DNA. That's the lowest thing you can do. So. Um, so this is also what a telepathic supporter says. They're like little fucking parasites pecking at Alyssa all day. And they really, they just peck, 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 peck all fucking day long. And I know that this is not mental illness. <laughs> um, uh, but of course it, it could, it is a mental illness, <laughs> but it's, it's happening to me. It is not me. They're just sucking the energy out all day long. Uh, so that shirt with the letter D, like she's, Deanna's pretending to be her, and like she's her, like her. And Deanna gives Alyssa a stroke. Oh, so then they were trying to give me a stroke these past two days over over that shirt that I saw. Um, 
because Deanna doesn't like her daughter Alyssa. She likes her daughter-in-law, the twins of a clone's wife. No, she's not your daughter-in-law. And no, you are not a grandmother right now. And the fact that you're saying that to me uh, makes me feel violent towards her. I, I, I've had very little respect for my mother. I've always felt very above her my whole life because of I kind of intuitively knew what she was doing to me my whole life. I felt kind of bad for her. Like, so I've always f thought that she was, I've always felt low of her. Uh, but this is the lowest thing that she I actually um, kind of just showed me her true colors by doing this to me. And, and she's tried to kill my spirit over it. She's trying to kill my spirit by doing this. You have no one. You don't even have a fucking mother. I'm with her. I'm with the clone's wife. She did what she, she... She did a criminal act, and I've used the pendulum multiple times, and it continues to say Deanna thinks that she does not deserve to go to jail for what she did. <laughs> does Deanna think that the clone's wife should go to jail for uh, stealing my... my Twin Flames DNA? No. Because you know why? Because Deanna is going to jail. She doesn't care if that lady, that clone's wife is going to jail because she's going to jail. And by the way, but by the way, mom, if you're watching, nobody fucking cares whether you are siding and supporting the clone's wife. Nobody fucking cares. Okay, there's 7 billion people on this planet. Nobody fucking cares. And nobody fucking cares, Deanna. And by the way, no, that you hate your, you hate your daughter so much that you are supporting and admiring the, t the clone's wife by the way she acted towards, about her and pretending to be her and everything. that stole Alyssa's future husband's DNA. Um, and I've used the pendulum. Uh, guess what, Mom? Your mother, Doris, does not approve. If you fucking did that, if, you're, if your fucking mother, Doris, did that to you and sided with some other, some, some other stranger and said, yeah, I'm with her. Your mother does not approve of what you fucking done to me. And I'm sure, I'm sure she's done some things to me. Not even close to the amount. And my mother's brother is a, is, um, my mother's brother is a physical beater. My, my mother is a physical beater. My mother, my mother beat the, the living fucking shit out of me every fucking day. No, no hands. No fists. My mother beat the fucking living shit out of me with her voice too, most specifically. Screaming her fucking head off, stealing my adrenochrome every fucking week of my life. And that's just one thing. She crippled my fucking body. It made me limp since I was 15 years old. Excruciating pain in my hip and my leg. She took away my education by making me fart every fucking, every fucking five seconds in, in class. From preschool to college. Gas. That's just a few things. <laughs> Anyways. So, they have plans to mess up this video, and if I said something to hurt you, it's not because I've tried to. Alyssa always has thought less of her mother. Okay, so I've always thought less of her. What she is doing with beyond humiliating me by supporting this girl who supposedly um, stole my husband all this time, stole his DNA, been fucking it, raping it, 
and she's she's citing her saying she's her, she's her yeah because my mother raped Shia my, Shia my mother has raped you I know for a fucking fact because I know she's been raping my fucking ass since I was a fucking infant I know my mother has been doing things bad things to you so yeah she is one of those girls that was um, with all the clones, with all, she, one of those girls with all the clones. She is one of those, because I know what she has done to you. I know, and it, whether you feel it or not, this this um, thing in my butt. Si it was silent. There was no like sexual feelings or anything. It's, this only this th that only f I only noticed and felt anything from five years ago. Nothing. I never. Really, I couldn't wash. I couldn't wipe my butt. Wash. Wipe my butt though. When I was in the sh when I was in the shower growing up, and everything, I had a hard time washing my butt. My butt because it would be so sensitive when I wiped. So I do. I do remember that. I do remember that. So oh, Deanna goes. My mother goes. No loyalty because I'm saying all of these things on the video. Well, no loyalty. Uh, I have literally like told my mo Shia. I've literally told my mother things like, "You stole my soul," different things, and she looked at me like, "Are you serious? Are you are you serious? You're talking to me like this?" I remember. I I I've told my brother. I've like on the phone like very briefly. Yeah, I know you guys are trying to kill me and blah, 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 blah. And he goes, Alyssa, how dare you think that you can talk to me like, t how dare you think you can t um, talk to me like this and, and like say these things? Because it was a secret and I was never saying anything to them, whether I was controlled or not. Um, and so nobody's really watching this film, but she, but, but Shia and possibly my mother and possibly my dad, probably, I don't think my dad would. I think he does know how to do YouTube. My, my brother taught him how to put YouTube on there when my brother was living with him a little, for a little bit. But, um, no, I, I, I don't think my dad's watching. I think my mom might be watching. But uh, no loyalty. <laughs> oh, no loyalty. Someone's reminding me, but I'll say it. Uh, no loyal. No, I'm not saying it. I'm gonna read the notes. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, and this is Deanna showing her true colors and how she always felt towards Alyssa. You know, you guys are a bunch of old farts. You know, you're the you're an old fart. Taking, taking the beautiful young girl Alyssa and the beautiful handsome, and the handsome no, the beautiful young girl Alyssa and the handsome man Shia. Taking us down, these old farts taking us down. Must must be nice. All these old people trying to kill us, kill young kids. We're not really kids, but this is pedophilia. So, no loyalty. Yeah, you torture me. Yeah, you give me millions of farts in my lifetime. You take away my soul, my career, my family, my life. You even take away my private parts. You take away my education, my ability to have a job. You take it all the way. This isn't some girl that's blaming everything on their parents. My mother is a Freemason witch. She has tried every fucking day of her life to kill me and did not succeed. So it, it means you were supposed to be that loyal. So guess what, Dana? You are, you are the fugly redhead that didn't get the guy. Okay, you didn't get Shia. And this is what it's over. And she's single, she's lost her exes. She's had affairs on both of her husbands. 
And I, I, it's been very hush-hush that you didn't cheat on my dad. Um, you, we were living in Timberwood. You went, you, you were living with us with no job. My dad was working. She went and go, she went and worked at a restaurant as a waitress. And the manager was the dude that she, um, left my father for. And then we went and go lived with him in the fucking purgatory dungeon house in Auburn. Whether or not you were doing sexual things to him before you divorced my dad, it doesn't even fucking matter. You left, you, you, you went to the job, you were a waitress, you met him, and then you left my dad. <laughs> and then, actually, I don't really, I'm not really, I don't really care that you cheated on that, your ex-stepfather. But this whole little um, online long distance AI relationship with DW went started in Auburn, and then you divorced. You divorced your ex. You divorced your second husband, blaming it on Austin, your your son. You know he can't stand um, him anymore. No, that was a lie. You were having an affair. And, oh, this, no loyalty. No loyalty. I was your best friend. You stole all my fucking time. You were a fucking massive handler. I didn't even go, I, I didn't even go out much. I was so fucking sick. I, anytime I went out, I'd fucking fart. And I was drinking alcohol to ease the pain at that point when I was younger. You were fucking controlling me when I was drunk. You did so much fucking shit to me, you weren't my fucking friend. You were never my fucking friend. Never. You're a fucking fraud and a liar. You're not you're not a fucking actress. You're a lot you're a liar and you're a fraud. And no, I do have some emotions about it, because you are my fucking mom. Guess what? Me and Shia will move on in eternity, and these bodies are not going to be ours. I don't even want your fucking DNA in my body because of what you fucking done to me. You think you're not proud of your daughter because I have a soul and you don't? I don't give a shit if you're not. I don't give a shit. I never tried to fucking kill you for 37 years. I didn't. Te technically, I, I kind of respected you way too much to the point of sickness. I was fucking sick. And you were probably massively controlling me to, to, to be so sick to, to let you fucking try to kill me all the, those years and continue to. Right in my fucking face. So, y if you wanna, no, I'm not talking about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. And um, to my twin flame, Shia, you have to know this. You have to, you know, you have to know the seriousness, the level of seriousness of um, what I have taken from my parent, mother. And no, my dad has not been um, great, but not no comparison in regards to what my mother has done to me and continues to do to me and um let me go to the bathroom
wish it wasn't. I, I really. I wish I was talking about other things, and I apologize. I'm not talking about you. I, I just. This is really going to be um, a problem in our life. So. Okay. I. I don't think I'm going to continue talking about her. I wrote a whole. A lot of scribbling about. Because I got massively attacked with that, um, that the letter D on that shirt. Whether or not that was even what happened, I kind of have an idea it did, but... But, I mean, I don't, I don't even think, my, my dad's not rubbing it in my face. I, I'm not talking to them. I'm all done talking to him. I stopped talking to him in the fall. And okay, I'm not going to continue talking about this one. No, I, I, I'm not talking about that. So. See, we already talked about this, so I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to bring it up again. I kind of want to make a video every week. I was thinking about doing a, a, a video every week, one hour instead of two hours, but I don't know. So I'm feeling very ill right now, by the way. I feel like stress is building up like I could get a stroke so I have to calm down but I've been doing exercises with my spine spinning it around like on the floor with on the yoga mat and it's been helping I have to do it every day and I'm not I I'm like really annoying myself right now so this this video is not completely and I, I won't like be this, when I get off the phone, it's knowing that you're watching and like connecting with me, it's gonna make me happy. And then I'll, I'll take a bath and I'll hug the pillow, hug your picture, and I'll, I'll be happy thinking that you're watching and, and, and listening. And it means so much that you're listening to me. And all those times when I was making those stupid fashion posts I really just wanted to talk to you but I wasn't really I wasn't allowed uh, I know that there's a lot of control happening there's even there's there's a lot of control on the whole planet not just control between us but you've had to know you've had You've had to know about my poverty because it's a part of the attacks that I've gone through. Um, and DW hung that over my head for 20 years. That you, you're poor, there's no chance that you could even get a lawyer to fight and prove that um, I've been stalking you on the computer and cell phones and attacking you in your emails and whatever. You, like, you're just poor, like there's nothing you can do. And I've believed that. And plus with the whole covert covert operation, and if I did like approach psychics, they're like, I'm not getting into it because they're too scared. They'll get attacked by the Illuminati if they try. Um, I've gotten more information and proof of what's going on living here. Because these people are all poor. They don't give a shit. Satan didn't fucking serve them. They don't care. Because they're poor. They, they, Satan, Satan didn't provide. So, that's what I think. I don't, I don't know if that's why. So, I... Um, I 
Yeah. I've already kind of talked about this, but I'll say it again. It would be uncomfortable if you were wealthy and I... So I've had feelings that like you were kind of having like a bodyguard with the clone because the clone has a lot of wealth. So I was feeling like you had more protection than me and it was really hurting my feelings. So now that that post was put up, I kind of am realizing that I was wrong. And I'm probably, I do probably imagine things that are wrong, a lot of things. So yeah, it would be awkward and uncomfortable if, if you were like, you know, um, so, and then, it's been so sad, I want you to be like me. Um, so Alyssa is, yeah, I, so I've been like a poor child, too sick and dumb. Too sick and dumb to make money. And, and this is what DW has told me in reference to, on the advertisements. I am too sick and I am too dumb to grow up and be a woman and have a career. Every week of my life that was said to me. Like not, I'm not exaggerating it. <laughs> Alyssa, I just said that. Um, it, so it was used against me every single day. And it was part of the humiliation as well. No, but, but they're going to be going to prison and they're going to be eating poverty prison food. No, we're not talking about other people. We're talking about you. And this has constantly been done to me in my head. Like, they, they're, they're like pu putting other people to use to, st to, I'm not even explaining that. So yeah, you're, you're going to be in prison, DW, hopefully for the rest of your life. You're going to be in prison? And I'm not talking to him. No, 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 no. I'm not talking to him. Someone's pretending to be that person, DW, listening and watching me. And that's why, and then someone just said that. So there's a lot, this was the program. Anyone who, anyone who approaches my brain through V2K is DW. Everyone is fucking hiding behind that fucking dude. And that is, that shit is, that shit's like pathetic, okay? That shit's fucking pathetic. So he's gonna, he's gonna go and eat prison food. No more superfoods, pal. No, no more superfoods. No more, um, Rich, posh, eco, lux, no, no rich, luxurious foods for you. You're gonna be eating prison food, and that's gonna be paradise for me. It will be, it will be pure paradise if that person gets locked up in jail for the rest of his life. And many people say if if the government found out what this person has done to me for 20 years, there's no way that he would not get the death sentence. Okay, but I don't think the government's gonna find out every little thing that this person has done to me. Unfortunately. So terrified. Yeah, so I've been I've been terrified. I've I've been terrified um shh. No, I'm not saying shh. some demon some entity in my head is doing that. I have more than one gin in my head. I know for a fact. In my face, in my head. I know for a fact. And I've been possessed since I was a little child. They just kept fucking throwing shit in. So, and I, I've had full possession, full body possession, and mind possession. But Lumerians control it. Lumerians are in charge. Lumerians are the ones that are helping me and Shia. And Shia, I'm not trying to like say things to you like you don't know. I, I know you already know. I'm not like telling you things to like... Alyssa's. Oh, I wanted to make you listen to like 
my favorite humming, this humming sound that, so the Power of Curon made a video and actually did remind me of you because it's the protection um, one and there was like a, a knight with a shield and, uh, and the, the stuff just keeps hitting him and I know that's happening to you. But anyways, on the last 20 seconds of that video of, their, of the Power of Curon's latest Rakya, they posted some of the most inspired, like that, shh, quiet. Okay, so, this is totally queer. <laughs> Fucking queer ass pedophile. Listen to this, um... repeat for like 20 minutes and it does something to my body and I know it's going to do something to you it's, it's, it's doing something so long. I, I, it's the happiest. It's the happiest. So I hope that you can use that too, possibly. Uh, I, I know what it's doing to my body when I listen to that. And if I try doing it, they make it sound creepy and scary. I can't even, I can't even do it. They, like they just change. It's, it's, it's not even that. I can't do it. Like they stopped it. Like I was doing it like the first five minutes, but and then once they know, found out that I, I was doing that, they completely stopped it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, so I had the ground beef tacos and they tasted really good. I put beef bullion in the ground beef along with sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, butter. And then I sauteed green peppers and onions. And I put green salsa verde on the taco. I haven't been talking about food really. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I've been having a little bit. So I had tofu, couscous, and asparagus for lunch. For dinner, I had coleslaw and hot dog. Then I had biscotti, cereal, coffee for breakfast. Cereal and coffee for breakfast, biscotti for a snack. Biscotti cookies. Uh, yesterday, coffee, two little mini peppermints, two mini biscottis, cookies. And, oh, this was an off day because I went shopping, so I just ate whatever. So I had two small soft pretzels with uh, mustard and salt and turkey sausage. I was just craving turkey sausage links. And a Bavita cookie. It's those sandwich cookies with a chocolate cr cr I'm not in the mood to talk about food. <laughs> I think you can tell. Um, I'm just, I'm like, it's not, this isn't like a, a food video, talking about food, like. But yesterday, I, I made I made the tacos the day before yesterday, and then the, I had a, a ground beef burrito yesterday. So I'm not in the mood to talk about food. It's just 
And I don't know if you heard that. I'm not talking about that. Tell sure tell Sherry about Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, sparkling uh, mineral water. I drink a lot of the seltzer, but the seltzer is not mineral made out of mineral water. It's made out of purified water. Maybe some of them are spring water, but if you can find sparkling, if, I'm pretty positive you drink seltzer. Drink the sparkling flavored mineral water. Trader Joe's has it and I have to get some the next time. So it made me really happy seeing that post with the um, thing in front of the door. That made me really happy. I just have a sense of almost relief to the point of like ex extreme exhaustion from seeing that post. Uh, I can't explain it. Hmm. Yeah, they're giving me, they're giving me gas. It's just the way I'm sitting, they're using they're using a way to make it make it, make it a sound. <laughs> Rokia to burn Jin who is alive from the Prophet, I, I think I, I have to go to the bathroom. Um, so these jinns are like s spirits that have been living like for since thousands of years, and they just like they don't go in bodies. They don't they don't get rebirth, and, uh, reborn in bodies. So, but they are you can kill them. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, and I told you I drink coffee with honey and oat milk, but I usually drink my coffee black. It I, it gives me more hype, like more energy when I drink black. Oh yeah, in a dream, my dad hit the clown's wife with the orange basketball in her head. I think that that was, well actually they were both going to throw the basket in the hoop and then my father hit the bas orange basketball in her head. I think the orange basketball was you're going to jail. I, I, my dad know, my, I know my dad knows that she belongs in jail, but why didn't he use the AI to stop it. Why didn't why why didn't any why didn't they try to stop it? Why didn't they try to stop it? They could have tried, and I'm, maybe maybe he did try to stop it. But the thing that they knew for so long, they knew for so long that it was going to happen. So did they want it to happen? I don't think my, my dad wanted it to happen. I know that my mother is so, she's so sick. I mean, she's like, she like wants to like steal you away from me and then she's fucking raping you. My mother's too sick to be a mother-in-law. She's too sick. And I know, like there are some times my mother is, she was very normal. She was nice. <laughs> And I know that my twin flame, if she, if she was healthy, I know my, my twin flame would like her. She is my mom, but she's too sick. She's too sick and she's too evil. She's done too much evil. And it's sad. I kind of want my, I kind of wanted, 
my mother, my my husband to have a mother-in-law. I mean, look, I kind of wanted that, but no, it's not gonna happen. You can you can go be the mother-in-law to the clone and the clone's wife. That, that's 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 who you can. That's your family, not not Shia. Shia is not your family. You're not gonna. And she already done things, Shia, like oh hours in like. Like she'll use we an hour like my like we're sharing shia she's already done that she's already talked like that go to the bathroom because I have to go. I'm gonna grab I'm going to look up the doc Google Docs. We're gonna have an hour left. I'm gonna go on Google Docs because I have a crime report and I'm gonna read off things from. I I'm just, I don't wanna look at the notebooks right now. shirt was gonna look like feminine because of the way it's cut it's like cropped but it's not looking feminine Maybe I should just grab a notebook. Stop looking at the notebook. Because. No, let me just find. Let me go in my emails because I email myself. Grand report. And I'll tell you like things I email myself. Oh yeah, crime report: toothless, ugly black girl that gets makeup make makeup makeover. So this photo was put in my 
at YouTube. Look, see the girl, the, the, the ugly looking girl on the left and then the makeover? That was put in my YouTube and he told me that that was me, the ugly girl with no teeth because the person uh, has ruined my teeth from the putting the um, gins in my jaw to teeth grind. I, I wish you could see it a little bit better. There it is. That was put in my YouTube, like out of nowhere, like it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be there. Like it was really obvious. It was really obvious that it was put in there. Like it was right next to all the recipes and like the food research. So it was like wicked, like not supposed to be there. of time if I do this because I've, I've, I have like pages and pages of information that I want to share with you. No, let me just get the notebooks. Sorry, I'm like wasting time right now. I feel like I should be talking. No, no. I, I want to give you information about. Hold on. I want to give you information about. This is, this is, um, 
this is someone's doing this to me. I'll just I'll read some some notes, some journal pages of it. December tenth. Don't know what year I wrote this. Today the stabs have decreased extremely, and of course, as I think of it, someone stabs me with AI weapons, but it barely got through. This is hopeful. I got a beautiful new zero degree sleeping bag. I can't believe how warm and cozy it is. I think that using the six blankets on top of the super tight 20 degree sleeping bag was not ergonomic. The bag was giving me claustrophobia and all the fabrics were reacting negatively to one another because of their different fabric types, weights, and textures. I'm really going to get a better sleep and I'm not going to wake up cold. I also got a beautiful tent. Um, this isn't what I wanted to write. I wanted to tell you what about DW and Christina McMillan, David Wolf and Christina McMillan. I want to tell you some things that they did to me and I can't find it right now. I wrote a whole list about them. And let me find that email. I'm not being prepared right now. I've been wanting to talk to you about some of the things um, and I'm going to be locked out of my, you watch, I'm going to be locked out of my email from Outlook because because this person DW would make me forget all of my passwords over and over and make me have to re-put passwords for decades person did this to me and I didn't write them down. I was controlled, not allowed to write them down. So Isaac Pelletier on Facebook, he writes, you messing with Tina? You messing with Tina? And this was a conversation, like, totally random person, like I've never met. And Isaac Pelletier just randomly said, you messing with Tina? That was Christina McMillan, who on the cell phone, when she called and left a voicemail, she was acting all like I'm giving, like, and then she, she used TA to say, like, well, subliminals. She didn't really, I, she wasn't talking in my head, but trying to, trying to, like, back off. Like, send me a voicemail to, like, say, back off. I, I'm with DW, he's mine. When they were controlling and making me watch them. And I said, I don't know who you are, what does that mean? Explain yourself. And then he never responded again. So, D DW has ruined Alyssa's life, damaged her for life. She has no life, but to get tortured 24-7. And if she doesn't die or kill herself, all she's going to get for the rest of her, that is all she's going to get for the rest of her life, is torture. DW said that. And then DW put this advertisement up with Crest Toothpaste. DW and Christy McMillan used to call my breasts Crest, like cheap chest, Crest Toothpaste. DW saw that Alyssa added those photos on Canvas to edit and there was a little lock next to the web browser. He then forced Alyssa's thoughts to think that little lock was a star and he turned it into Alyssa's butthole because he is raping Alyssa's private parts, her vagina and anus. Well, he's not typically raising it, but he's got, making the gin do it. So look at the advertisement on Pinterest, which I cannot, I'm not allowed to go on because of the advertisements. The, the, look at the 
Crest toothpaste and they would constantly so she there was crest is chest and that's when I was very flat chested I was extremely flat chested um, but then it says crest toothpaste get a whiter smile with brilliance they were also doing a lot of advertisements uh, about my teeth because of how they damaged my teeth so much uh, what else? Let's see here. DW says, oh, I'm going to delete your book. Threatening if I don't stop protecting and defending me in Shia. DW is threatening to delete all my work and this is a chronic constant. Everything's deleted, everything, your life's deleted, your computer, everything's gone. If I go to jail, I'm gonna delete everything on your computer, everything's gone. I'm gonna delete all your email accounts. Um, DW is continuing to hear DW's voice, continuing to not leave because he thinks he's going to get prison. Continually ships um, axes in my, puts axe, axes in my face. What? And they, uh, DW constantly um, talks about a family member's name in my head to harass me and she, he used his family member against me in, um, for, uh, to harass me um, into making me think that I was thinking about that person when I never was. And he, he did this with a lot of people. He forced me to think about people that I would never think about. Let's try to find... Shia promises me he will put DW in jail. I want to put the, the books away before this video ends because oh, we're going to go through these pages I don't want these all hanging out. Um, So that was an attack that I just like went to dead silence. Um, so 15 more minutes. Uh, these are just like... Like, there's a lot of covert stuff. That's the, the, the sad part. There's a lot of covert stuff. And this is why this person thinks. But the thing is, <laughs> if you hack into so much electronics for cell 20, 15, 13, 13 or 9, 13 to 10 to 13 years,
It is illegal in some countries to do voodoo. It's just, um, you know, people like to, and this was also said a lot to me, you're just a targeted individual like the thousands of other people. No, 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 no. I'm 5%. I'm in the 5% range of me and Shia are, are within the 5% range on this popula on this planet of most tortured. I cannot minimize the extreme gas I was given at all times. Alyssa had to pass gas every 30 seconds when this occurs. Alyssa has constant perpetual air in her ass that builds up, so it's not the kind of fart that goes away. It builds and builds until it's ready to go and then builds and builds. The gas does not smell, it is air. Alyssa does not have IBS or any colon disease. This is an AI weapon in the gins. It gives Alyssa extreme pain, extreme shame, extreme humiliation. Makes her feel extremely dirty and uncomfortable and sick. And extremely isolated. I mean, it uh, prevented me from going out. Besides me having to be crippled going out. Um, oh. My mother never... Um, used pepper spray or had it or never taught me to use pepper spray. I never owned pepper spray up until a couple years ago. I never owned pepper spray or any kind of protective device. My mother used AI to make me not use it or other people too but I know she was one of them because she never had pepper spray. Who, knew who wants to kill her? Nobody wants to kill her. She, because she wanted me, she wanted someone to hurt me and have no protection, just like the no lock on my door in Auburn. I had no lock. Everyone had a lock on the door but Alyssa in Auburn. So I never had pepper spray up until a couple years ago. I had pepper spray. I actually bought pepper spray a couple years ago, and then they used black magic to make me um, lose it and not buy anything else again. And then it was, so I had it once for a couple months my entire life, once, a couple years ago. And then I finally bought the pepper spray for the first time that to actually carry on my, on me. Um, literally three or four months ago. I'm 37 years old, I've never had pepper spray on me. I'm actually going to get a necklace and there's um, a little pepper spray thing on the necklace. I keep it in my pocket. There's also a pen that's a taser slash pepper spray. It's just like a little pen, like a pen you write in. I'm gonna get that on Amazon. But the thing is, if someone's shoot me, they will. If someone can pretend to like me, come up to me and have a conversation, then they can throw ass in my face. I just saw a video of a criminal who's going to get the death penalty and he went, his lawyer went up to talk to the guy that was going to get the death penalty and he punched his lawyer with his elbow. Just like friendly, like, oh, okay, let me listen, bang. So, I didn't do bang. So um, they these criminals could pretend to be like my friend and I'm extremely naive to a fault because, I, because as a Lumerian we don't think bad things typically because we're, we're not evil we don't think about death and murder and we just don't think about those things it's not in our it's not who we are we're not evil we don't think about um, that type of thing I didn't say that type of thing. So, what else did I want to share? So this isn't what I found. I didn't find the, the actual document that listed like tons of specific things about 
the whole story behind DW and the assistant, which would give you, see, I think, I continue to think that you know what's going on and what happened to me. But there's thousands of little details that happen to me, and you don't know those thousands of details. And I'm, I'm continuing to think that you know them. I don't know if it's mental illness, I don't know if it's mind control. But like, wait, you are spiritually telepathically connected to me, so you get my, your, your higher self knew, I know. This is really good, Chapel Cherry. Um, I think you would like this one. I really like cherries. I cannot, oh yeah. So, I was given yes at work. I, I mean, I was, <laughs> I was, I was given at retail, I was given a lot of gas. Uh, I, I, just, I don't want to talk about gas, it's stupid. But how, how is my mother going to go to jail for making me fart a million times? This is very, very... Um, but I'm also blocked to know what she's going to go to jail for. I'm blocked. No, I'm not completely blocked, but there's other things. So in regards to the farting, Alyssa was counting down the seconds for the school bell at every class before she could feel the relief of the gas. She would often feel suicidal from this, but she disassociated from it to make it like she didn't care. Alyssa had to run to the bathroom all the time in school to fart. Um, this goes beyond a handicap that Alyssa was never meant to have. And off, many times, I wasn't really that social. I would like go to the library. No, I would go to the bookstore and, and sit at the bookstore alone a lot. I, I didn't, and when I did have the, the friends, it was typically with like drinking involved. when I was in college and high school those time. The sickness, I, I, I didn't have a privileged life. I mean, I was, I could say I was kind of middle class, um, but not really. That stopped. Um, I, I was poor. <laughs> Um, but she, she, the last, one of the homes that my mother was renting was on a, a lake and the place was moldy and I had to go, uh, she, there were, it was like a little attic so it was really, really humiliating. Um, there was no heat up there either. And I was using the space heater, and she'd scream at me for using the space heater. She wanted me to freeze to death. And they tried to freeze me to death in the car many times when I was living in my car. But if you're, you can live in your car, but if you're getting physically tortured and living in your car, that's, that's what made it impossible. It just, it just feel it. It felt usually if uh, it was pure torture. Alyssa was trapped in a schoolroom full of people with gas every day of her life. Second grade, third grade, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and throughout her college years, Alyssa was having to fart away from the people. 
And she also had her brain constantly blocked so she could never be allowed to think. I don't know why I said that. Uh, basically, when I was farting in, in school, those kids probably knew too, many of them. Because they knew, like, in this... I don't even know, see, I feel like I'm being humiliated. Why am I talking about this of all things right now? But the, the gas torture was... It's, it was one, it's been, it's one of the worst physical tortures that I've had. Oh. So, this, this, uh, mm, this is just too random. Some of the stuff right now, it's just too random. I mean, I don't even remember the things that all of this. DW uh, built an artificial program, artificial intelligence program. Spell, to put a spell on Alyssa when she buys food. She doesn't have any taste buds, taste buds for the food she buys, so she ends up going to the store to buy more food it, with money that she can't afford. So then she wastes money, and she keeps being more and more poor. So they're continuing to literally make me spend my last dollar. And it's extremely stressful. I, I don't have to spend at the last dollar. So they're, they're using um, black magic to make me have that stress from spending like my last dollar. Like, I I've had, you know, there's things I have to buy, but at the same time, the, when I was making that, that very, I had that high paying job, I was counting my change at the end of the month, I was, I was getting like forty-five to fifty thousand dollars just for six months, and it was I, I wasn't. It was a joke job. It was a cult. They were a cult, and they were trying to humiliate me because all I would do the whole time is just, I would be the one selling the clothes, like the sales assistant, but I was getting paid to be a manager. Anyways, it was like a boutique setting. No one was even going to the store. But anyways, so that job though, I got an apartment, completely unfurnished, totally humiliating. I wasn't going to furnish it. I knew it wasn't going to last at this job. I don't last at any jobs. But when I was getting, making that forty-five to fifty thousand dollars, the the end of the, the, the on the fourth week of the month, I was literally counting change in my fucking pocket to go buy a drink. They were fucking robbing all the money. I, all the money. I couldn't save. I couldn't save a penny. Like they, they've really, really tried, really, really hard with every little thing in my life, especially money. I mean, I was spending like a thousand dollars. I was spending like $1,500 a month on food when I had that job. Like they just, they were just, they were just making me spend all this money to just so I could not have any survival for the future. And then after that high paying job, I had to go work at a tomato farm and pick tomatoes in order to pay my last month's rent before I could move out so that I didn't because I, I didn't want to leave and not pay my last month's rent. I had to go work in a tomato farm and they almost killed me on that tomato farm. They worked me so hard that I was laughed, I was having 
extreme laughing. Like I was spending like 10 minutes to an hour laughing after the job from fatigue. Literally laughing and giggling to myself because I was so tired. And I was falling. I was like literally falling on the ground. I was so tired that I would just like fall. They were killing me at that on that tomato farm. And that was extremely, extreme humiliation to go from working that job to working in a tomato farm picking tomatoes. And then after that, then that's when I moved out of the apartment and I think I, oh yeah, then I went to Mount Shasta, something happened, went back to spend a couple weeks with my dad then go and went and lived at the ashram monastery to be the kitchen manager and then I left and went back to California um... no I'm not talking about that but I was never dressed appropriately when I was a child either I never had winter boots either and winter socks so my mom was trying to give me frostbite so that my legs would be cut off. She tried very hard to get my legs amputated. They were trying to control and manipulate, and you know what, she's tried to kill my spirit, okay? My spirit, and to my twin flame, this probably has happened to you, I think I have already died in my body, but my heart would not, my, I think my heart has stopped before, whether it was the physical, the etheric heart definitely stopped. Something died in my heart. And that's probably why, like, I can't, like, act, like, gentle and loving in this video, and I apologize if I can't do that. Maybe because I'm just so tortured, like, and, like, my heart's dead, but no, trust me. When I get off the video, I'm happy and thinking about you, like, I'm not like this. Like, I'm just, I'm talking about bad stuff, so I can't be like that. So, um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, so there are times, especially these past five years when I was so near death, that I think, I think I did die. I think I have died. And especially with the full body possession, um, that that was really scary. So, I bet I think I had a not. It was it went beyond a near death experience. I think I've actually died before, but the the body just kept going. So th I think that something happened. Something happened. Oh, I was, I saw on the internet of, and I think it might have been a fake picture, but there was a guy in a jail cell and the, the, the people who put him in jail put a cage on his stomach with a monkey, trapped the monkey in the cage and the, and the monkey was eating the guy's guts and he was like flipping out. Like it was extreme, like. I can't believe I saw that photo and it haunt, it like hurt me because they would continue to keep flashing that in my head like you're not getting tortured this guy is you're not getting tortured you're not getting a monkey eating your guts out trapped trapped in a cage on your stomach so they they done a they've done a lot of that like n no you're not tortured like there's so much worse things but it's not the truth <laughs> um I have been massively tortured, and I know my twin flame has. 5% was tortured. Like, it's not, it's, you can't compare it with other people. And I don't even know if that actually happened. I don't know if that was a fake photo or not. Oh, it's two hours. So this is, but this is here, a list of things that has happened to me.
attempted murder, indirect direct, criminal stalking, cyber harassment, cyber stalking, by DW, <laughs> torture, cruel, inhuman, degrading treatment, civil harassment, computer hacking, cell phone hacking, organized predatory criminal gang stalking operation, voodoo, black magic, witchcraft, AI, technology attacks, illegal use and possession of directed energy weapons and surveillance tactics. Those are just a few things. But the thing is, my mother would always do this. Oh, we're just TIs. We're just targeted. We're all targeted individuals. No, 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 no. That's an excuse. You know what she did to me for 37 years, mother, okay? Were you targeting your daughter? This is like, they're just trying to like, okay, everyone's getting tortured. Nothing's happening. You're not getting murdered. Like, that's, that's AI. I'm not acting like that. But my, my mother definitely threw the targeted individual and she sent me emails of uh, what happens to targeted individuals. Um, why am I gonna keep talking about my mother? She was one of the worst. She was one of the worst. She did some of the most to me. I mean, she humiliated me. You don't get, you don't get a family. You don't get, you don't get a husband. You don't get a career. You get nothing. And the the whole reason why I'm living at this place is because my mother sent an email to someone or whatever. I got in this place partially because of my mother. She has so many spells and witchcraft on me that I was incapable of even getting help to get into an apartment. I couldn't do it on my own. I couldn't mentally or physically do it on my own. She actually helped me. She didn't help me. She was probably controlled by the Lumerians to help me at that point. Or she was getting so massively targeted herself that she she had to help me help there's no help she she helps to hurt that's all it's been is c control 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 until you die basically if she helped me with my car insurance bill at the time when I was she was paying my car insurance she had give, she was giving consent to torture me and to try kill me and this was a thing if you're if you're allowed to drive around in a car, we're allowed to kill you. That's that's like the trade off, Alyssa. You live, we kill you. Uh, that's not the complete explanation of that, though. There's more to that. I can't explain it. But how humiliating! Of the whole reason why I'm in this place is partially because my mother got involved. Because she did so much black magic and whip crack and mood and control that she knew I had no fucking chance. And I don't believe one minute that she actually helped me get in, out of an apartment. I actually believe someone either controlled her or she knew. I, I don't know what happened. I know she wasn't helping though. That sounded ghetto. I, I don't talk like that. Hmm. Happiness. So hopefully after this video you're going to be happy. And... If I say something right now, they're just going to... Um, insert thoughts of the V2K. My arms are still fat, but they're getting better. But they're, like I said, this black magic and witchcraft, voodoo, the, all the AI, the gin, all the demons are still in me. So when you see me and I look like ugly, it's because they're acting up. They're getting more and more ugly and more showing themselves more. But I hope you're happy and I am happy. I'm happy thinking that we're going to be together soon. Um, what else? I'm not going to bring up anything right now. But I kind of may have wanted to tell you. 
Um, what would you like my twin flame to know? What Lumerians, what would you, what does Shari want me to, to tell him now? And I, I haven't let myself go. I, this is, this is the torture. This is the disease and the sickness. So if you're, and that's happening to you, do the ruckus for sickness and near death and, and um, death spells and all that too, if you can. But no, I'm not, I'm not, I never let myself go. This is the end of the video. What would you like my twin flame to know at the end of the video? In regards to the genetic health, we didn't talk about the cloning much. And the reason is I was I've been blocked all day. I've been so worked up over um, other things that I haven't completely thought about that. Um, I don't want to think about that right now because uh, if, if I'm going to get a break and I'm not going to have constant thinking about it, then in a, uh, when I do the, <laughs> the Lumerian channeling, I think about it. So um, I believe that there's going to be Lumerian technology that's going to be able to uh, transmute t transmutate the DNA that was used to make that child. And I think that um, that's, some, that's gonna be what I'll work on for the rest of my life if I have to. But I believe the Lumerians will take care of it or we will take care of it and there's going to be proof that it will be um, taken care of. Um, There's a, it's a whole there's a whole world out there. There's a universe. The whole universe is out there. There's all kinds of technology we're not aware about. I don't think the Lumerians will allow this to happen. Um, I don't believe the Lumerians will allow this to happen. I don't. Um, We've already we already said uh, that the person has to go to jail for it. Um, see how my eyebrows not that raised in this right now. So I believe that that we'll be able to to do something because I can't I can't I can't think about it and like I, I actually. I'm, I'm not really having a good time talking right now. I mean, I'm not having a good way of communicating right now. Um, I think I also got a sign from uh, from Allah, Allah, when the pair of Curion put the, the 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 photo of the DNA burning, and then the before that there was a uh, a face with a lizard eye inside moving like it's just a shell it's just a shell there's a lizard in it but then showed the DNA burning like so we can do something with fixing it Please, please, Lemarians, help me. Help me tell him something he wants to know. I don't want to talk about that. Anyways, let's just drop the knot because it. At this point, it's just going to be bringing up stuff, and the video's over. Sometimes I, I, I open a book and 
pick up pick a word in the book. It's not working. Sometimes it just, it's satanic language. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So, yep, just keep doing what you're doing and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and I will see you in the next, uh, within the next couple of weeks. I'll come back on next, not next Saturday, but in the next, I'll come back in two weeks, unless there's something really urgent. Um, I, I really hope that you stay safe, and if you feel sick, um, continue to do the ruckus, and, you know, when I think about you, it makes me feel better, so think about me if I didn't say everything that I wanted to say it's because it's unblocked and controlled not to say it but I will talk to you soon have a great rest of your day and night um, and for, to, for everyone who's watching thank you for watching I appreciate you listening and you know and Shia thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day and night.